Hi everyone, my name is Colin and I'm a senior pharmacist with Watson's. Today, I'll be introducing the COVID-19 Antigen Rapid Test Self-Testing Kits. The kits are quick, highly accurate with more than 83% accuracy and are easy to use. Results are known in less than 20 minutes. Children under the age of 14 need to be supervised by an adult. The test kits measure antigens, which are proteins that are part of the COVID-19 virus. It can tell if an active infection is happening, even if you do not have any symptoms. The test kits are suitable for individuals without symptoms who are worried that they may have COVID-19 and would like to put their mind at ease, or employees who have been asked by their companies to perform regular testing using the test kits to avoid workplace transmission. If you have the following conditions, the self-test kits are not suitable for you. Any symptoms of runny nose, cough, fever, flu, loss of sense of taste or smell, or breathing difficulties, please visit a doctor at your nearest public health preparedness clinic. If you have any nosebleeds in the past 24 hours, or had nasal surgery in the past 4 weeks, or had facial surgery in the past 8 weeks, visit a licensed ART provider to get a professional to do the swap for you. By knowing your COVID-19 status, the benefits of the test kits are to pick up cases in the community earlier, allow your doctor to make an informed decision for your treatment based on the results, and to limit the spread of COVID-19 to the people you interact with by taking the appropriate safe management measures. If you have a positive test result or two consecutive invalid test results, please see a doctor at your nearest swap and send home clinic and inform them of the results. Take a picture of the results together with an identity document such as your NRIC in the same photo before disposing the test kit. If you have a negative test result, practice appropriate safe management measures and observe good hygiene. There are two brands currently available in Watson's that do differ in their usage, so read all instructions carefully. Check with your pharmacist if you are unsure. Before you begin, check the expiration date and have a watch or timer ready. Perform the test in a well-lit, well-ventilated room with a mirror and a flat, easy-to-clean surface to place the test kit, like your bathroom. The test kit contains two nasal swabs, two test strips, two pre-filled tubes, one test tube holder, one user instructions, and one fact sheet for individuals. Firstly, wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Wipe dry before starting. Next, prepare the collection tube by removing the cap and placing it upright on the rack. Remove the swab from the wrapper at the stick end. Be careful not to touch the cotton head. Gently insert the swab into one nostril until resistance is felt, usually about 2 cm. Rub the swab in a circular motion along the nostril wall for at least 4 times, then remove. There will be some discomfort, but it should not be painful. Use the same stick to swab the other nostril in the same way. Make sure you swab both nostrils. After that, place the swab stick into the collection tube, ensuring it is in contact with the solution. Stir for at least 4 times. Start the timer for 1 minute and leave the swab in the tube. Remove as much solution from the swab by rubbing against the side wall. Remove the swab from the tube and set it aside. Open the test strip be careful to hold only the parts with words on the strip. Place the test strip with the arrows pointing down into the tube. Leave the strip inside and start the timer again for 10 minutes, after which you can read the results. Do not read the result earlier than that or after 15 minutes. For result interpretation, firstly, check to make sure that a blue control line is present. If there is no line or only a pink line, the result is invalid, likely due to incorrect test procedure, and the test needs to be repeated with a new kit immediately. If a pink line appears, 
near the blue line, no matter how faint, it will be treated as a positive result for COVID-19. If there is no pink line near the blue line, it will be treated as a negative result. Once done, double bag all the used material and tie it with a cable tie or rubber band before disposing it in the rubbish chute or covered bin. Lastly, wipe down all surfaces the kit came in contact with and wash your hands or use hand sanitizer again. The test kit contains one instruction for use, one test device, one tube, one blue cap, one buffer bottle, one tube holder, one swab, and one bag. Firstly, wash your hands or use a hand sanitizer. Wipe dry before starting. Next, prepare the collection tube by placing it upright on the rack. The buffer solution is stored separately. You need to open the buffer vial, squeeze twice to empty the contents into the collection tube. Make sure it is above the fill line. Remove the swab from the wrapper at the stick end. Be careful not to touch the cotton head. Gently insert the swab straight back into one nostril until resistance is felt, usually about 2 cm. Rub the swab in a circular motion along the nostril wall for at least 5 times, then remove. There will be some discomfort, but it should not be painful. Use the same stick to swab the other nostril in the same way. Make sure you swab both nostrils. After that, place the swab stick into the collection tube ensuring it is in contact with the solution. Stir for at least 5 times. Remove as much solution from the swab by pinching the tube. Hold the tube, lift the swab and locate the brake line. Snap the handle at the brake line and leave the swab inside the tube. Close the tube with the blue cap and put it back on the rack. Open the test device. Place the test device on a flat, well-lit surface. Hold the tube upright to check for air bubbles and wait for any to disappear. Open the bottom white cap. Squeeze 5 drops into the well of the device. Close back the white cap and start the timer for 15 minutes, after which you can read the results. Do not read the result earlier than that or after 20 minutes. For result interpretation, firstly, okay. check to make sure that there is a control line present at C. If there is no control line, the result is invalid, likely due to incorrect test procedure, and the test needs to be repeated with a new kit immediately. If a test line appears at T, no matter how faint, it will be treated as a positive result for COVID-19. If there is a control line but no test line, it will be treated as a negative result. Once done, double bag all the used material and tie it with a cable tie or rubber band before disposing it in the rubbish chute or covered bin. Lastly, wipe down all surfaces the kit came in contact with. Wash your hands or use hand sanitizer again. In general, the test kits have an accuracy of between 83.5 to 99.8%. Though they are lower than traditional swab tests, they show quicker results, are more comfortable to use, and you're able to self-administer them at home.
The test kits are meant for individual use in the home setting. Hence, our store staff are not able to perform the test for you. The test kits are easy to use and there will be information provided to you through a brochure. The test needs to be performed in a well-ventilated room away from others. The test is conducted by inserting a swap stick about 2cm into the nostril. This is shallower and less intrusive than traditional PCR tests. You may experience some discomfort, but it should not be painful. You may consider buying two kits to send by at home per individual. If the first test result is invalid, you will need to repeat a second test immediately. There will be a purchase limit of 10 kits per customer. Store the kit in a cool place away from direct sunlight. The test kits are available for sale starting on Wednesday, June 16 at Watson Stores with a Pharmacy. I hope that everyone now knows how easy it is to use the kits. Stay safe.